Hello, welcome to Simply Linux with me Ali. Hello, hope you're all doing well. Um, tonight we are going to have a look at another installer for Linux in the Easy Install series which I am doing. Proving that Linux is not hard to install at all. In part 1 I did the PC Linux OS installer. It's the one I'm most familiar with and now I'm going to Fedora's Anaconda. The Anaconda installer has been around Fedora for a very long time now and it has been improved upon and changed a bit. So we'll start um, it off. It was actually defaulting as uh, test media there, so we'll see how this goes. Just wait for it to boot. And I'm using uh, Fedora 30, I believe so. And it is the live version. So we'll go through the installer, so we'll Click the install to hard drive. And if I can here, yeah, I'll just scale it so everybody can see just a bit more. Okay, we go to the first screen. And on that first screen, we have uh, which language we'd like to install. Well, I'm in the United Kingdom, so we'll leave that as it is. And I'll click continue. Now it says installations in this destination. Uh, automatic partitioning is selected. Got the date and time here. GP keyboard and the help. So I'm going to tick on that. No disk selected. Add disk. Okay. Now let's see, it did not pick up the hard drive here or has it or oh, am I missing a point here ok oh a special network that's why so I need to choose that disk this will do that to you another storage configuration we have automatic we have custom and we have advanced privilege GUI and we can encrypt so that part's done we'll just install straight to the hard drive there's no other reason to touch there's not any dual booting going on so hopefully I can click done there I did confuse myself for a brief second for some reason it's checking the storage configuration and now I can just begin the installation Anaconda isn't one of my favourite installers, I must admit. But it does get its job done and laying down the OS. And I'll just pause this for a moment while it does the install and I'll be back as soon as it comes through any other screen. Okay, we're at 99% and installing 100% uh, on this part of the install. Just let it catch up. Unfortunately, screen resolution isn't ideal, but there we go. I'm just seeing what else it's doing now. It says it's installed itself 100%. Uh, the hard disk is still thrashing, so we'll see what happens in a moment or two.
No, that did take a little bit of time. I'm not quite sure how long it's up to now. Uh, I can't remember what time I started, to be perfectly honest. And the hard disk is still thrashy. So, we will just wait. You can see down there, at the bottom there, they have a little banner. And with rhythm box, you can sync your music with music play, media players and smartphones. Rhythm box being a music player. Your MP3 grabs and flat files, OGS, etc, etc. Assuming you install the codex. Now I'm not quite sure whether they come pre-installed on Fedora as it's pretty much a lean machine when it comes to things like this. We're still waiting for it to get past the uh, installing stuff where stage. Well, we're installing the bootloader now. It has an axe move or I cannot remember in a previous configuration whether it asked me where to install but it's assuming it wants to go on the NBR of SDA I assume uh, yes drive allocations I'm very different on Linux as to are on Windows um, easiest way to think of it on Windows supposing you had three hard drives uh, and not three partitions but three actual separate hard drives and you, all those hard drives the three hard drives were not partitioned just one big partition on each it's just a for instance you would have a C drive, a D drive and an E drive and your optical media will be F and so on and so forth or if they were partitioned your first drive will be C, D, E and your second drive F. You get the idea. On the Note 6 it's very different. We have uh, for the first hard drive it's SDA, for the second hard drive it's SDB, SDC and so on. And for the partitions, so the first partition will be SDA1, then SDA2. And if you're working in MS-DOS mode, MS DOS partition type and you have an extended partition that will be SDA5 and in the inside it will be SDA6, 7, 8 regardless whether you got 1, 2, 3 partitions on the first right so configuring the install system and it's writing some networks, it's creating users and I cannot remember it asking me if I was a user. Hmm. Creating the init RAM. File system. Of course, Fedora being part of Red Hat. Or it used to be, don't know if it still is and somebody can answer it for me if Fedora is still the uh, complete, oh very cool go ahead and reboot I shall do that, thank you oh no, I've got to go over here, I'm on a GNOME aren't I yes I am oh that's the power button there and we'll restart it so yeah I was asking about Fedora where it's still there testing ground for the Red Hat proper and we have system D having a fit
So we'll just have to be a bit patient here. Is it really going to give me the full 1 minute 30 seconds? I do believe it is. Oh wow. Maybe this is because it's just running in virtual box. Uh, I don't know. I've never installed Fedora to real metal to find out. And I don't have any spare drives or partitions to play with. So unfortunately I cannot. Okay. So it's actually let go. And this is the live CD. So it didn't actually um <coughs> take out the CD for me so that's something I will have to do move disk and we'll start it up yes yeah, so we'll switch back to scale mode a little grub error there not sure what's happening but anyhow we'll continue to boot and it is booting And this is his first boot, which should be always the slowest boot. Of course, your first boot is normally the slowest, as it writes in all the configs. video I um, should be looking at the calamaris I will decided to have a look at calamaris uh, we can use uh, I believe Manjaro for that uh -huh. so anyway we're at um, a screen and it is a welcome screen so okay we go to welcome and next, uh, yeah, that's all right, that's fine. No, we'll skip the online accounts about you, about time. Uh, no, I don't need an enterprise login. Uh, password, of course, which tells me it's rubbish, but I will go next anyway. And it says I'm ready to go, so I am ready to go. While I'm here, we'll have a quick look around the houses. Okay, we have a, a help box come up. And it's getting started with GNOME. Uh, to launch applications, switch tasks use windows and workspaces, browse the web, etc, etc ok, so that's rather nice a bit to come up as you can see here we've got type to search we have also got Firefox Rhythmbox, files which are file manager, software and show applications if I click on show applications we can see that we have boxes which is a virtualization I believe uh, calendar Cheese for our webcams, clocks, contacts, files is your file manager. And it is, it looks like it's using the advisor theme. Yuck, sorry, not my theme, but there we go. Let's go back into the... Oh, we've got weather, utilities, weather boxes, set photos, Firefox, some LibreOffice, Nothing too strenuous here. Switching utilities, advanced, documentation, front screens, okay. 
So, that is a quick run round that. There isn't much to be said. It is a basic install, provide you with a, a music. <coughs> a music player, uh, your file manager, a web browser, and I do believe there was a video yeah, videos. Which is a pretty slow opening, but that's fine. And we've got channels as well, like Euro News, The Guardian, Apple Movie Trailers. So anyway, that's a quick install of Fedora. I hope you've liked this, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, that's the Anaconda installer. And as I said, next time we'll be looking at Calamaris. After that, we'll have a look at Ubiquity, uh, Deepin, and I might even be able to get Slackware and actually do a CLI install because that's the good old fashioned way we used to do things. So, excellent. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it, as I said. Have a very peaceful evening and uh, good night.